Today we're going to see how salad greens grow. We'll start by visiting Josh at a school garden in Gallup. So what we're looking at right now are two kinds of red leaf lettuce. This is called a bib lettuce. And you can see because it's very ruffled. It has these, um, though the leaf is not flat. As compared with something like this, this is called a red romaine lettuce. Many times, um, kids won't want to eat something that's uh, looking too green or something like that. So maybe if we convince them that red things are neat and fun, uh, they'll want to try that too. This is some purple basil. And if you go like this and smell it, it smells like a pizza pie. It's beautiful. And most basil is not purple. This is a, a special variety. Uh, it's pretty. We're going to harvest some tatsoi right now. This is a, an Asian green. And uh, <clears throat> I've never tried it before. So this is a first time for me too. Okay. And I think I'm just going to take a nibble of it. Mmm. Oh, it's got a little bit of a, not so spicy like a mustard, but it has something, the same mouthfeel to it, really. And the stem is edible. It's not too, it's not too uh, fibrous. It's really quite delicious, actually. So this is arugula. This is a very spicy green. It's also very healthy for you. So let's eat this. Mmm. Real nice. I hope you guys are enjoying this too. In the beginning, you don't really taste the, the that spiciness of the arugula, but it follows through in the back of your mouth. That's what I'm getting at least. Look closely and you'll see the arugula flower has a cross shape. Arugula is in the cruciferous family of vegetables. The word for cross in Spanish is cruz. And I'm trying a flower for the first time. Oh wow, really cool. It's got the flavor of the leaf without the bitterness, without any of the spice, really cool. This whole row has some cabbages. And cabbages, the, the part you eat of the cabbage is actually the inside. The outside is real hearty, real uh, fibrous, real tough. It's, I, I've never tried to eat that, but the inside is very soft and that's what you know about cabbage. You can make you know, slaw, you can make, uh, um, What's the stuff you put on hot dogs? Uh, sauerkraut, all that comes from cabbage. I've seen purple cabbage before, and these, uh, I believe, will be more like lighter color green. These kind of look blue to me. Here we're looking at the underside of a cabbage, and we can actually see a dead leaf. And if you get worried that your plant is dying, you're seeing, oh, all these dead leaves on my cabbage. That's totally normal. This is part of the life of a cabbage. And the way that we harvest the cabbage is by taking a really, really sharp cutter, like a, some kind of felco, and just snipping the root, snipping the stem. It's kind of uh, maybe that, that wide in diameter. And you're just gonna get it, and then you lift it up and take it. And if you bring it to market, you'll wanna take off some of these. You don't have to take them all off, but in the store, you really won't see any of this. You'll really just see that. Now we're going to visit Mr. Bustos, who farms near Española. So what we're doing here is we're harvesting these baby greens. These are about 30, 35 days old. They're a little bit more mature than we'd like. And what we do is we'll mow them down about an inch or so above the soil. We'll be able to harvest, depending on the season, three times, two, three, sometimes four times, depending on the cold temperatures and moisture and the nutrients. And then uh, we're averaging about a pound to a pound and a half per square foot. And then the good thing about these kinds of crops, they do really good in the weather, in the cold weather. They're called what's cold hardy. So they'll go through a little bit of cold weather and then they'll be able to come back. You can see how beautiful it starts to look. How nice and green and red they are. Then we'll wash them and then dry them and then they'll be ready to be pellet in three pound bags and sold to the schools or to farmers market. Here's some of the spinach. Yeah, this is one that we just eat by the leaf like that. We'll cut leaf by leaf. How beautiful that spinach looks. Works out pretty good, huh? 